Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Stan Boney on YouTube. How you been? Uh, well, today we just received the Cosmos 2 Ultra Tower. Alright, we're going to open this bad boy up. I'm going to take a look at it and I'm going to tell you about it. I'm not going to go over it all. I'm not going to read the sides of the box and just tell you. We just get into this thing, rip it out of this box, and we're going to show you what's, what this case looks like. Now, I, really didn't, I read up a little bit about it. When I saw it, I was like, I just got to have it. Alright, so, but between working and everything, I ain't got time to, I ain't got time to, like, read up on all the stuff, but I, did, I do know some of the features on it, and we're going to look at it, and see what we think. Alright, man, this is a big box. Okay, what I'm thinking of doing is, after we do this unboxing, we're going we're gonna to compare this to the TJ11. Alright, uh, let's open it up. And that's it. Okay. Let's see what we're gonna have on top here. Okay, this is this is the uh top. I shouldn't have opened it this way, but that's all right. It was out in the rain, man, right in the snow, right in front of my garage door. I was like, yeah! Nothing like these grab, grab handles. All right. Let's get rid of that box. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Cooler Master Cosmos 2 Ultra Tower Chassis. This is going to be the new crystal skull two build all right nice nice okay let's look at the front first okay so what we have here a little protective covering on top here another little protective covering here you have a movable top it back. Okay. No, I can't go too far with it. Well, on top here you have your power switch, your reset switch, um, your fan control switch, LEDs for your GPU, everything's nice. You've got four USBs, 2.0, 2, 3.0, two, uh, your head jacks go right here. Uh, and your e-sater. Okay, then this panel slides down. It's nice. Nice and clean. I don't see no damage nowhere yet. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Okay, now here you have an easy slide down panel. You have three quick release five and a quarter inch bays. Pretty upsetting that they didn't have a few more of those, but I've got some good ideas and we're gonna work around this. Okay, then you've also got your two, your two um, hard drive bays right here with key locks. And this slides up. This is nice. It's 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 very sturdy. This is plasticky. We're going to have to do a comparison to the uh, TJ11, I think. Definitely. Okay. 
nice steel mesh cover here. Okay. Put it on its side here. Then there must be a release back here for the door. Ah, down. Okay, so there you go. That's the front side. Bring in a little, bring you in a little closer here. Okay. So inside this front door, let's see what we got here. I haven't been inside one of these, so I don't know. We've got a uh, little accessory box here. I imagine the keys, the hard drive, hot swappable bay locks. Brackets, probably for power supply or something. Standoffs. Oh, they're giving you a uh, jumper, an uh, extra 810 connector, and the keys are in here. Nice. Okay, so, starting in this area, we have 10 plus 1, 5 and a quarter inch bit. Uh, I'm sorry, expansion slots. We have a uh, 140 millimeter exhaust fan in the back here, it looks like. Yep. Down here is where your hard drive, I mean your power supply is gonna go. It's got a dust filter, so that'll pull out from the that'll pull out from right here. I can feel it right now. That's nice. That slides let's leave it off. Here you have 220 millimeter fans to cool. All of these hard drive space. Is that amazing or what? What would you do with all that? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven hard drives. That's okay. Looks like there's a lot of space here. This this can all come right out real easily. I like the toolless design though. That's pretty nice. All the wiring. Nothing's uh, nothing's braided or anything like TJ11, but still, these you have all your different connectors for your motherboard and everything. And nice. The hinge on this is nice. It's uh, it's like a shiny metal, and it looks very uh, very sturdy. Okay. Looking from the back side, nothing special. You have three uh, holes here for your um, water, water cooling if you'd like. Okay, so we can only fit one power supply, but that's not too bad since they have some really good power supplies out there right now. Coming to this side. Yeah, it's easy once you know how to do it. Here's the back side of the case. This is really impressive. Look how deep of a space you have, how much you can you can put you can route everything back here. This is so deep, it's gotta be two inches deep of space, and in some places even more because the case just goes bows out at the top. This is all nice. You can easily fit two 240s down here, no problem. Up top, you can fit a 360, which is plenty. Nice. I like it. Oh, this is going to be crystal skull, too. We plan on uh, sending this bad boy out and getting it painted. This back piece comes off also. There, I can 
show it to you. Comes with one exhaust fan, and that's where you would put your 360 rad. Nice, very nice. How would that look with a nice skull right there? Yeah. I like it. Now you see this on the TJ11 is all solid, solid metal. This is all flimsy plastic, but it's still, it's, it's nice. I have to say this is one gorgeous case. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between this and the TJ11. I don't want to give you any opinions right now, but I like the case. I think it's going to make a great build for uh, Crystal Skull too. And um, I'm going to keep you updated on that. This is going to be a wild build. We're going to be loving this. Let's just show you one more then. Oh, both doors. Look at that. That's sweet. Sweetness. case uh, and in a few days here I'll be doing a um, side by side comparison with uh, the TJ11 alright TJ11 is uh, quite a bit more money than this but I think there's quite a bit more metal involved with the TJ11 but let's have get them side by side and we'll do some comparison testing alright thanks for watching Stan Boney on YouTube peace we'll see you soon